this is Laura B and in this Power BI data flow video we're going to have a look at the schema view and how it helps us do some common column tasks. So here we are in our data flow and I've got a query here tasks it's got a number of columns I've got some date times I've got some costs I've got some so if you did these manually and I went through and changed my column types and I reordered and I did renaming, you'll find it requeries every time I do this. So it ends up being a really slow process. But I don't need to see my data while I'm doing these things. I can. I just want to do it to the column names, etc. So we click onto the view ribbon and I'm going to go to schema view. Schema view gives you the definition of all of your columns. That's what a schema means. So here we are, I've got all my things. I can see my date time columns. I can see my costs, decimal numbers. So I'm gonna just quickly fix those. So I go into search and I can put in date forward slash T and there you are, that finds me all my date time. It's searched on the type column. So then I can select them all and on the transform ribbon, I can pick date time and change that to be date. And there we are, I only have dates now. So the other one I was gonna do is if I search for cost, there we are, I've got my three cost columns from my tasks table and I'm gonna highlight all of those and we're gonna change those to be currency. So there we are, we've got our currencies put in there as well now. Now the other thing that I regularly want to be able to do is reorder my columns. So I can now click on a column and I can drag it to where I want it to be. So let's bring the start date up to, up to just after the task name. And I can then, so I can continue doing this, get it all right, get it in the right order. Okay, and work my way through until I'm done. So there we are. They're now all sorted in the order that I want them to be in. Okay. The other task that I could do in here as well is to rename my columns. So we can do that by a number of means. I can double click on a column name. I'm just putting spaces in to get rid of the camel case to make them more readable. Um, so I can come down and do that, go through all of my columns in turn. Okay. Or I could click on the three dots and pick rename there and continue on down. We also have a ribbon at the top here called schema tools and that gives you the common things that you would want to do to a column. So choosing and removing columns, changing data types etc, renaming. So I could pick another column there and I could click rename. And all of that is without it having to refresh any of it okay so once you're done with all of your things inside your schema you can either click close schema view or back on the view ribbon you could click data view takes you to the same place and there we are it's going off to go and do that query against my project data and it's pulled back my query come back in and it's only had to do one query back and there we are we have our, changed our column types, reordered our columns and done some renaming. That was using schema view inside a data flow. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.